history on Capitol Hill as the second impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump is now underway. A new CBS News poll finds public support for a conviction is much stronger now than it was the first time around. The national survey found 56% favor convicting Trump, 44% oppose it, and support for conviction last year never rose above 50%. WBZ political analyst John Keller joins us tonight. And John, do these numbers mean that there is a chance that Mr. Trump might be convicted? Well, Anna Rita says Kevin Garnett said the last time the Celtics won the title, anything is possible. But I seriously doubt it. Most of the 20 Republican senators who are facing re-election next year come from deep red states. And the new CBS poll shows a vote to convict Trump would be very, very unpopular in those states. 71% of Republicans say it would be an act of disloyalty to vote to convict, while only 29% say they could accept such a vote as a matter of principle. Numbers like that are going to make it really, really hard to find 17 Republicans to vote for removal, although six of them voted to let the trial proceed today, so you're a third of the way there. Interesting. And John, some Democrats argue that even if conviction is unlikely, it's still important to hold the former president accountable because he denied the election results. Do you think that rings true? Gee, Paula, I don't know if there are many minds available to be changed on that score. I mean, take a look at what the poll found on the simple question of whether or not Joe Biden legitimately won the election. 95% of Democrats and two-thirds of independents say yes. But after all this time, all the court rulings, all the rulings by GOP officials, only 34% of Republicans are willing to acknowledge the truth. I would say that in an environment as polarized as this one is, the idea of accountability across party lines is really more naive than anything else. Well, we're going to see what happens. We certainly saw that debate play out today. John Keller, thank you so much.